Imagine growing up in public housing and attending Catholic Mass every Sunday, only to shift and become the most dangerous Comanchero biker in Australia. So dangerous that a three million bounty is put on your head. Comanchero President Alan Mayen was paraded through the airport under heavy guard. This is the life of a man who went so deep into the biker lifestyle that he got a tattoo of his favorite mafia boss on his leg and one saying outlaw on the back of his neck. Stunned passengers forced aside as the handcuffed and heavily tattooed national president of the Comancheros Outlaw Motorcycle Club was marched past. From spending most of his adult life in the biker underworld to holding the highest ranks until he couldn't move up no more, he is the perfect example of a seasoned biker. But can he hold on as the authorities try hard to frustrate him? Or will it come crashing down? Police make no secret they want to make life as difficult as possible for people in positions like Alan Meehan. And today they put all bikey bosses in New South Wales on notice. This is Alan Meehan's story, one of the most powerful biker bosses in Sydney. A humble beginning, Alan Meehan was born into a humble background and grew up on the streets of Miller. Life in the streets of Sydney exposed him to the tough life and sharpened him for his adult life. As an 18-year-old rebel, Meehan joined the Rebels Motorcycle Club. He became popular quickly and became the president of the club's Cronulla chapter. And he made friends with some of the most notorious bikers in Australia, including Jesse Vela of the Vela family. Another high-profile acquaintance Meehan made was Mark Buttle, one of the most wanted outlaw bikers in Australia. And this earned him the nickname Little General. But it was not long before he felt it was time to upgrade. Becoming a Comanchero, Buttle convinced Meehan to join the Comanchero Motorcycle Club, which he led. And it was a call that Meehan couldn't ignore. Joining the Comanchero meant regularly rubbing shoulders with law enforcement. In 2014, he was arrested with a pistol and was sentenced to two years in prison. But nothing was going to stop him from diving deeper into the outlaw underworld. One of Australia's most senior bikies has escaped jail time after fleeing Sydney for the Gold Coast without informing police. Alan Meehan pleaded guilty to breaching a serious crime prevention order. When he got out in 2016, he hit the ground running and began to rise through the ranks of the Comanchero. It took him time to establish himself as a respected figure within the club. In July 2020, the commander of the Canberra chapter and his close friends were partying at a nightclub where different outlaw bikers frequently visited. A brawl broke out, and while he was trying to de-escalate things, Pitasoni was stabbed in the neck from behind. He managed to stumble outside, but it was as far as he could go before he died on the scene. CCTV cameras and onlookers captured the chilling events, and the killer was identified, arrested, and pleaded guilty of the murder. After Pitasoni's death, Mian stepped up to become the new commander of the Canberra chapter. By this time, he had already earned the respect of everyone around him, young and old. His vast experience in the biker underworld took him another step up when he was appointed commander of the much bigger Sydney chapter. But he would not be a commander for long. In April 2022, the Comanchero national president, Mick Murray, was arrested. A bikey boss is in custody tonight with police hailing his arrest, one of the biggest in Victoria in recent years. Mick Murray is charged with murdering a Tony Mockbell associate in Dandenong. The arrest came after investigations into the death of a high-ranking outlaw officer, Mita at Rasimi in 2019. Rasimi was found dead with four gunshot wounds to his chest after crashing his car while attempting to get away from his killer. Murray was arrested when it was discovered that the hit was due to a debt that Rasimus's brother owed the Comanchero. The police raided his home early on the morning of 28th April, but Murray was not there. A few hours later, they arrested him at a Melbourne gym he was known to frequent. He was denied bail and remained behind bars while investigations continued and he was left with no choice but to step down as he could not perform his duties as national president of the Comancheros effectively. The troubled national president. After Murray's arrest, a leadership struggle ensued within the club. Meehan and another established biker, Tariq Zahid, were the front runners to fill the national president's position. Meehan came out on top 
and he celebrated his new position with an Instagram post of himself, wearing his new national president vest with the words, You can't see the eyes of the demon until he come a-calling. Meanwhile, his opponent, Zahid, ended up in hospital after being shot badly in an incident which left his brother dead. The attack came barely a month after Meehan had taken over, and it was widely suspected that Meehan ordered the hit as he felt threatened by Zahid. Meehan's life changed tremendously, and his love for fancy rides, designer outfits, and a luxurious lifestyle came out in the open. In the following weeks after his appointment as president, he posted a video of a gold custom-built Harley-Davidson motorcycle, estimated to be worth over $100,000. Weeks later, he posted on TikTok a video of a gold custom-built imported collector's special Harley-Davidson V-Rod motorcycle in club colors worth up to $100,000. He also shared a photo of him and his wife on a boat dressed in Versace, Balenciaga, and Armani designer clothes. He also portrayed a love for social media, regularly posting photos of him and fellow Comancheros in club colors or designer clothes. But while he was on top, the police saw this as the perfect opportunity to bring him down. And the trouble started slowly. Trouble in paradise. A few months after becoming the national president, Alan Meehan was the subject of a serious crime prevention order issued by the New South Wales Police. The order was the beginning of a frustrating period in his bike life. It outlined that he's not to associate with any outlaw biker, boss, or known crime figure. He was also restricted to living in a specific address in New South Wales, which would be known to the police, and he would have to notify them 24 hours earlier before spending the night somewhere else. Meehan's financial freedom was also stripped, and he was ordered to have a known bank account and credit card and not possess or use an encrypted phone. The Sydney police squad commander explained the condition, stating that he has become a prime target for the NSW police force and this is just one method to target him. We want to send a clear message. If you're going to be the national president of the Comanchero, this is what you can expect. But Meehan is not used to being pushed around and he continued carrying out his responsibilities under the radar. One of his most significant achievements was convincing Jesse Vela and the Rebels Motorcycle Club to patch over and join the Comanchero. Meehan wanted to be remembered for something, and his ultimate power move was to convince another popular club to join the Comancheros. It was a shocking move that earned him more respect, and at the same time, continued to strengthen the Comancheroses. But the police are always on his heels. And on the 9th of February, 2023, Meehan was arrested again at Benawa Waters, Queensland. Comanchero boss Alan Meehan arrested on the Gold Coast. The police had quickly sought an arrest warrant after he allegedly breached his serious crime prevention order. He had failed to provide the correct address for his temporary accommodation did not provide an approximate return date to his primary place of residence, and he had used an encrypted phone to send messages. But in court, his lawyer claims that Meehan had relocated for the safety of his family after being notified that there was a $3 million hit on his head. Many believe this was a rumor, while few believe it's true. However, the police thinks the reason that individual left Sydney was in relation to this uh, serious crime prevention order and his uh, uh, plans to try to evade that order. His bail application was also denied and he was extradited back to New South Wales. Back in Sydney, <laughs> bikey boss Alan Meehan was greeted with guns and a high security police escort through the airport. But that was not the end of his troubles. In legal trouble, at the South Wales Supreme Court, Meehan once again asked to be released on bail. After listening to his argument, the judge granted him a $150,000 cash bail with very strict conditions, and his trial date was set for July 2023. He managed to keep a low profile until his trial date, but he clearly didn't lose his sense of fashion. He arrived in a gray suit, a Versace heritage tie, and a gold watch. 
Versace, known for its flashy prints and bright colours. When you wear it, it doesn't go unnoticed. And Alan Meehan got all the attention, despite not wanting it. Because Meehan spoke to the media, claiming that he felt good and was confident that he was innocent. In Mr Meehan's mind, he believes the orders don't apply to him. He was wrong and he accepts that. But in court, things didn't go as planned. After initially pleading not guilty to breaching at least four conditions of his serious crime prevention order, he was advised to plead guilty to one combined charge. Alan Meehan pleaded guilty to breaching a serious crime prevention order, apparently spooked by an alleged $3 million bounty on his head. His lawyer negotiated a plea deal to have the remaining three charges against him withdrawn, and it turned out to be a great deal. He narrowly escaped a prison sentence and was fined just $5,000 and sentenced to two years community correction order. But as long as he was Comanchero national president, he would always be in the police radar. Therefore, he stepped down, and once again, the top seat was up for grabbing. Meehan had proved to be more notorious than most of his predecessors, and the police grabbed the opportunity to bring him down with both hands. But they vowed to frustrate future national presidents until they completely neutralized this club. Shortly after Meehan's resignation, Bemir Sarashevich, a house painter from Melbourne, took over. However, rumors in the underworld claim that Meehan still runs things under the radar as he is friends with the new national president. Meehan continues to live his life as a free man and the Comanchero still hold on to their reputation as the most notorious motorcycle club in Australia.